Hi everyone. So in this free lecture tutorial, I thought it might be useful to actually demonstrate how we solve mole mole problems, since it's the foundation for all of the remaining uh, stoichiometry problems and calculations that we're going to be carrying out in the rest of the chapter. So take for example this reaction that I have written on the slide. Basically what I've got is two moles of C2H6 which is a compound called ethane, and it's reacting with seven moles of oxygen to give me four moles of carbon dioxide and six moles of water. And so they want me to calculate how many moles of oxygen are required to react with 24 moles of the ethane. And so as we've been practicing pretty much from the very beginning of the year, basically I'm going to set up a dimensional analysis set of conversion factors. So I'm going to start with the given information. I have 24 moles of the ethane, okay, and I want to convert from the moles of ethane to moles of oxygen. And so to construct this conversion factor that's going to take me from moles of ethane to moles of oxygen, I'm going to consult the balanced chemical equation. And the equation is telling me that for every 2 moles of ethane, 7 moles of oxygen are necessary to react with the ethane. And so my units would cancel, and that means I'm going to have to take 24, multiply by 7, and divide that answer by 2 to get the number of moles of oxygen. And if I do that, I get 84 moles of oxygen. Now... For the second part here, they're asking how many moles of ethane do I need to react to form 12 moles of carbon dioxide. So once again, I'm going to write the given information. I have 12 moles of carbon dioxide. And if I consult the balanced chemical equation, if I want to convert from moles of carbon dioxide to moles of ethane, then for every 4 moles of carbon dioxide that are formed, two moles of the ethane were needed to form it. And so my units of moles of carbon dioxide would cancel, and I would need to multiply 12 by 2 and divide by 4. And if I do that, I get 6.0 moles of ethane. Okay, let's take another couple of examples. Suppose I have this reaction. I have two moles of potassium chlorate, and they're going to fall apart, these two moles of potassium chlorate, to give me two moles of potassium chloride and three moles of oxygen. So the first question is, how many moles of oxygen are formed when 19 moles of the potassium chlorate decompose in this way? So once again, I'll start with my given information, 19 moles of potassium chlorate. And I'm going to consult the balanced chemical equation because I want to convert from moles of potassium chlorate to moles of oxygen. For every two moles of potassium chlorate that react, three moles of oxygen are formed. So if I cancel out my units of moles of potassium chlorate, and if I take 19, multiply by 3 and divide by 2, then I get 28.5 moles of oxygen, but I was given two significant figures to start the problem, so I really should round this answer to two significant figures. So that would be 29 moles of oxygen. Okay, and our final example here. They're asking how many moles of potassium chlorate decomposed if I formed 62 moles of potassium chloride. So once again, I'll start with the given information. 62 moles of potassium chloride. And I'm going to convert from moles of potassium chloride to moles of potassium chlorate. If I consult the balanced chemical equation, for every 2 moles of potassium chloride, then 2 moles of potassium chlorate were involved in forming them. And so 
if I cancel out my units of moles of potassium chloride, and if I multiply 62 times 2 and divide by 2, then I should get the number of moles of potassium chloride. And that should be 62 moles of potassium chloride, because this 2 cancels with that 2, since it appears in both numerator and denominator of our conversion factor. Now, go ahead and work on the follow-up problems related to this pre-lecture tutorial. They're very similar. And then tomorrow we'll work on additional problems uh, in the application activity. If you have any other questions, by all means email me or speak to me in class. All right, have a good night, and I'll see you then.